and it wasn't some blink and you'll miss it teaser, it was nearly 15 solid minutes of gameplay, with some interjections by Todd Howard and a few cinematic montages. So, how does it look? Well, to my eyes it looks like Fallout in space, frankly, though there is also a sprinkle of No Man's Sky and yes, even the expected touch of Skyrim. That's pretty much fine with me. I like Fallout and Skyrim, I like No Man's Sky, I like picking locks, outer space, and robot companions, so I'd say it looks pretty good. But more than a bit familiar. The trailer begins with the player landing on a rocky yet semi-swampy moon called Crete which orbits a planet named Ancelon. Vasco, the companion robot, exits the ship and the player begins scanning alien flora and fauna, with a readout showing how many other plants and animals there are to scan on that planet, which will sound extremely familiar to No Man's Sky players. We see some small, scuttling critters followed by considerably larger ones that instantly reminded me of Fallout Smire Lurks, giant mutated crabby things. On the plus side, the giant alien crabs don't actually attack but scuttle away, so it looks like not every alien life form will want to scissor you in two, which feels refreshing in a Bethesda game. There's also some scanning and mining for iron with a laser, again, reminiscent of No Man's Sky, though plenty of futuristic survival games do this too. Scanning a ship brings up a radio transmission from Bosco who I assume is still minding your ship, informing you of the ship owner's faction, in this case, pirates. There's combat inside a research facility that doesn't look terribly unlike a fallout vault, so much so that I was actually expecting the player to enter vats. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if, at some point, the player gets access to a similar time slowing, limb targeting system in Starfield. There's a silly yet futuristic version of Bethesda's lock picking game as the player opens a weapon case to retrieve a gun, and while it's not shown in the trailer there are lots of tables, desks, cabinets, and boxes in the lab, so I imagine Fallout's junk gathering system will play a role. There is, after all, lots and lots of crafting to be done. Jetpacks, both worn by the player and enemies, come into play, along with an enemy dropship that sort of reminds me of the vertebrates from Fallout. 